Hey, what's up everyone? And I we did tease a certain movie that we plan to do a review of, but oh well. I guess some things are just not bound to happen, right? Yep, just right. So anyway. Hey little coaster kitty. You can see your scars. So anyway, we're reviewing the movie Cargo. Cargo, which is like a musical. Meant to be, well, <laughs> kind of at some points. It's meant to be cars. It's meant to be um, one of those like getting involved with the bad crowd. It's also... Oh my God, how many movie picks? The Godfather, <laughs> Little Mermaid. Shawshank. Shawshank. I you know that Greece. kid's film. I even thought Grease was in there for a minute. Where? I don't know. Well, and racing the cars. Maybe it took the Fast and Furious. We didn't realize it. We didn't understand part of it. You sure that wasn't Herbie fully loaded that they were <laughs> ripping off? Uh, maybe. A better movie than this. Yeah. So, anyway, this movie, it's an asylum movie obviously cuz we're reviewing it now. Is it our last one? Yes. Yay. For this a year. year. Yay. <laughs> However, if anyone has an asylum movie they want us to review. No, you can keep it to yourself until until Christmas. <laughs> actually, actually that guy did talk about wanting us to review Almighty Thor that had Richard Grieco as Loki. Oh, oh, uh, Sharknado as well. Okay, let's just move on. Let's see, what else? Um, skip no, just, no, no, let's, oh, let's oh, skip oh, 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 also, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's an asylum movie? No, that's another movie that they ripped off in this. Okay. Can With we... him being sick and him and someone, like, going. Faking to be sick and then. And then going to school. Or, uh, Goofy no. drag racing. Yeah, I don't think he did that in Ferris Bueller. Well, kind of. Okay. And this movie, it's like... It's like it was written by two people. One of them decided to do a bunch of car-related puns. <sighs> like, uh... Oh, what's, what's one of them? Uh, Carmio and Joliet. No, it was Chromeo and Tuliet. Tuliet, yeah. What? Oh. Cabot or Cabby was Cabby was her nickname. Or Cab Cabarilla or no. something? No, Carlito was the other one. I can't figure out what that was. Cabigail. Cabigail, yeah. Carlito. And it was like uh, what was his name? Art Carbuckle or something. <laughs> Anyway, oh, along the with, oh, was Don, wait, hold on, Don Carliano or Carliano, yeah, and and the cop was what was his name, Red oh, or no, 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 but wait, and who was that guy? What was what was the guy's name? Vin Diesel or something? Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's so many. There's so Reference many stuff. puns. There's, stuff. there's so many puns like the. Uh, Car shank redemption or something yeah. like there's so the, many in the juvie hall <laughs> yeah in the prison it's like there's so many that are like okay this writer is writing the puns then this guy is putting them in the movie no script. this guy couldn't think of any puns he didn't have to he was writing the movie script so that's why on one end you have cabigail and on the other hand, you have, uh, oh, what is his name? Uh, Ed Asner's character. No, no, it's like, what is his name? Red Cop Car or something? Fred Cop Car. That's his name. Get it? Because he's a cop. Oh. And and you think he's the only cop in the, in the whole movie until two show up when they have to go to Juvie. Yeah. Juvie. Yeah. Oh, Erod, you thought... 
you thought it was you thought it was like so stressful and confusing about how in the planes movies oh. how some of the cars had like hats on their head you thought that was you thought that put you into a rage in this cars have mustaches and hair and bows that they wear in their hair but it's on their radio antenna and oh what about the um oh god i think the sun had a tie on or something or was that a racing strip um god i can't think of I don't eyelashes know. at the top of the windshield there were eyelashes maybe maybe that was a goatee maybe he was going through puberty i don't know <laughs> So anyway, and the the um, delinquent one that got him into it had a mohawk. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you okay. Rod. Yeah, you were confused during you were confused during the Cars universe. Oh, and this is a universe that I'm guessing it's part of. It makes it seem like it's just cars, but then they have references to human food. Oh yeah, because they are all out of W or WD forty soup. soup. Right. So do you want burritos? Did you oh, want a taco? Did oh, you want what, what was that other? Do you want to split us up sandwich? Huh? That was entirely pointless. So. Oh, and all the houses had like an upstairs. A ramp. Yeah, like an upstairs parking ramp. You know, you went into your bedroom. Had to be big house. <laughs> I guess. The Have school did, too. Oh, the school with the gym? Or the, um, no, the outdoor? Mm-hmm. They went outside so, on recess. So, uh, I think it's Haley Joel Osmond who is the main character, who is the main guy. Who, is wow, father. wow, wow, wow. This dude is like completely unlikable for like the first half oh, of yeah. this movie almost. He just dits his dad, his best friend, goofs off, doesn't want to be smart in school. It's like it's like he's inspired by he's inspired by this rebel, so he's like, oh, I wanna be like him. Yo, let's you don't have to follow the rules. I know I'm I know I'm probably gonna get like a B or C on the test, but I'm gonna skip school because I'm edgy, yo. I'm gonna drag race illegally. Yeah. And who was it? Red Cop? Was that Fred, Fred Fred Cop Car. Fred Cop Car. Played by Phil Lamar. He he was all over the city. <laughs> but he only used to catch the slow car. So not the winning cars. Yeah, he only he only went uh, after he I'm a the juvenile it's assuming, or high schoolers. Yeah, it's assuming they're in high school. But like everyone else, it's like, oh, I can't get you. Now listen here, you teenagers. I know that car went like a hundred miles an hour and you guys were only doing like ninety. 90. But it but I'm gonna arrest you two people. What about I can't get to them. So, and it's like, oh my god. One of the most inept one of the most inept cops since the snowman. Oh no, stop. <laughs> don't don't go to there. Don't go there. But yeah, um look. Uh maybe it's my maybe it's my opinion because maybe my opinion is a little like little too shell sheltering kids minds or something but i don't know this if this wasn't a kids movie i don't think unless you were a teenager but what was it much is gonna want to watch cars was it much worse than in toy story 4 in terms of like the in terms of like death and scary imagery mm, i don't know toy story 4 i think was more written for the coco adults. I don't know. It just, they swore, they, you know. Yeah, they swore the kid is completely unlikable. Um, oh, and then, then who did they have? The Munsters or somebody in there that was on the ferry to... Uh, yeah, he sounded like Igor. <laughs> <laughs> he did the ferry to Clunker's Island. Clunker Island, because... Oh, man, I'm getting tired. 
Ed Asner's Monday. character when he's like, Come on, son, you're going with me. So he chained him to the back of his car to drag him home. And during a, like... And it was during the, the second drag race. No, no, it was afterwards. Race. That car just, like, speeds through and essentially puts both of them in the hospital. And yet he's not arrested because... Yeah. His dad is... Carly Olmos. Almost totaled. Well, his dad got totaled. He got put in intensive care. He no, got intensive car unit. Intensive car, car unit. And he got put on the rack to check him underneath and everything. The yeah. radiator respirator, I guess. I don't know. So then... Ooh, so, God, excuse oh, me. Oh. We, we forgot to bring up his love interest, and in my opinion, the best character in the movie, Melissa Joan Hart's character as Carietta. Was that who she was? Cabigail? Cabigail. Cabigail. That, yeah. Cab. Cabby, they called her. Yeah, and there's. And she apparently is a fan of Romeo and Juliet. And they all sing. Oh, my gosh. Now, you thought one of the songs was, like, a little too much, like, part of your world, and it's like, no, you should have saved that comparison for the later part. Yeah. There was a song that was really, like, it literally said, I want to go where the cars are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is, what was under the hood, under the hood? You may be mad, but do not be sad. Your life is good. <laughs> I literally just ad libbed that. I'm not kidding. Right, he's not. And but some of the puns, it's like towards the end, it's like I don't know what would be a pun. It'd be like a Hey Kay, let's wa let's review the movie Animal House one day. Do you get it? That's a pun. Yeah. <laughs> Carlotta was like doing the puns backwards or something at, when they were trying to get the parts she put his dad back. She together. kept confusing time with space or S like, hey, we're going through time and time. Get it? No. Oh. Cabby, Cabby was like, no, I'm confused. <laughs> Oh, she even said, like, okay, I think you need to look up the definition of pun. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh. You say what you will about the puns in, like, the Bobbleheads movie, but at least they're consistently puns. Yeah. At least you can understand this, you them. you would have had to seen every Godfather, every car movie there was. Well, the Godfather. I'm surprised they didn't do Steve McQueen's car movie, so. I'm surprised they, they had the play of... Chromeo and Tuliet. Yeah. What was a streetcar named Desire? Too obvious? And the other thing, too, in that, that they're like, hey, we already saw that scene. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then they changed it. Hey, that. this is the best version of Shake's car I've ever done. <laughs> oh. And it's like, really? Shake's uh. car? What? You can't do Shake's wheel? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm I'm like really tired. It's been a very long day. They should they should have made a pun where it was like, uh, hey, Mr. Wheelberg should make that into a movie. <laughs> okay. Or Tractor Bay, I guess. How far do you want to go into this? Well. After going through the impossible forest oh, yeah. and the bridge of death. Or no, the what bridge is it? was before the forest. No, it was afterwards. No, it was before. It was after because they got out of the forest and then they had to do the bridge. They had to cross and, the bridge. The, and they were like, huh, you know, when you, when you say these names, they actually sound pretty scary. Yeah. And the bridge was not that long, but for him to go across the bridge... No, you had bridge, to cross two bridges. Oh, I thought there was only one bridge. No, because the second bridge fell. Because she did it really fast. Mm-hmm. he's like, Gabby, what are you doing? I just wanted to get it over with. That's, that's like you with some of these movies. Yeah, you too, I think. It's like, oh, uh, just play Death Nurse 2 so I never have to watch no, this movie. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, gosh, please don't. Uh, we've already watched it. We can't do a review for these people. Yay! 
thank you. You are up there. However, a great day. It was busy, but I had a good day. However, you haven't seen a certain trauma film that I saw recently. Let's just finish this movie and we'll discuss what we're not going to see that you want to mention. We're not going to discuss We Were Children at Play? No. Because if anyone were to comment on that, then we might have to accept that as a suggestion. No. Somebody. No. No. I, I'm not watching it. Oh, That's you baby. Anyway. Okay, we can see blondes have more guns or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Focus, focus, focus. Do we want to discuss this? So, anymore? anyway, I'm there's something which is like, I'm guessing it's like a wrestling thing or that they have to go to try to get totaled so that way they can go. That's a demolition derby. Yeah. That's usually at county fairs and state fairs. And but in this world, it would essentially be like amateur wrestling. No, it's... There are those demolition derbies. No, but if this is a world of cars, then they're driving in to get ki to get crushed. In our world, that would be wrestling. No, in our world, it would still be whatever. Anyway, it would be okay. So okay, okay. I if, see where you're going. If we were to be in an arena and I were to like push you and you were to push me, you would consider that demolition derby? If you were in a car, yes. We weren't! <laughs> but the cars were looking on. Oh, and there's a scene at the end where one of the where one of the main guy where the main car kid looked like Bane. Yeah, he had to Oh wait, wait, one, one second. He had to get so he had to get armor. Was I right? Was because, I wrong? No. He had to get armor on um, to fight for his dad's engine back. And, and he had the, to fight the guy that he put into... Yeah, like a monster truck. Yeah, he had to fight a monster truck that... And he's the guy that he put in to this clunker's island. That's like having... Is Vern... No, Vern Shore is not alive. That's like um, Emmanuel Lewis fighting Dwayne Johnson. Like, there's that much of a comparison. Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson are closer in height. Oh, and there's a spanking joke in that demolition derby. Anyway... I I really don't know what to say is I I don't I haven't seen Cars 3 so I don't know if this is better or worse. I don't either. The animation is it's kind of just it's passable but I mean compared to like Troll Land this is like an Oscar winning animated this is an Oscar winning movie not just animated movie this is Beauty and the Beast compared to Troll Land do you agree? Okay, yeah whatever you remember with Ja Rule and Dick Van Dyke and Jerry O'Connell okay I've got because to get that one was stop motion I've got to get some sleep before tomorrow's work so you could go ahead and finish up I suggest you don't watch it unless you have popcorn and soda and you just like puns about cars. Well, at the so, end, maybe if I... you like puns that don't make sense, maybe you'll like it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'd say a rental, but I would honestly say you should watch the Bobbleheads movie. That's more entertaining. Well, watch this before Bobbleheads. <laughs> Go ahead, Kenzie, you go uh, the yeah, that'll make bobbleheads look way better in comparison. Um, join us next time when Kay has decided that we're going to see a Netflix movie. Bye!